Today's paper is Miko, Mixed Up Code Training for Semi-Supervised Domain Adaptation. The method proposes a new approach for semi-supervised domain adaptation problem. It decomposes the problem into two subtasks, semi-supervised learning and unsupervised domain adaptation. An algorithm called Mixup Co-Training is used and achieves state-of-the-art results on semi-supervised domain adaptation datasets. Domain adaptation studies the following problem. Given sufficient label data in the source domain, for example synthetic datasets, how can a model learn to work well on unlabeled target domain like on real images? On the other hand, under semi-supervised learning setting, an objective is similar to domain adaptation task, but small set of labeled target dataset is provided together with much larger unlabeled target dataset. In this work, a self-training strategy is applied, where a model is trained to generate pseudo-labels for unlabeled datasets, and these labels are used for training in a supervised manner. Before getting into details, following notations will be used to explain the proposed algorithm. DS stands for Labeled Source Dataset, DU stands for Unlabeled Target Dataset, and DT stands for Labeled Target Dataset. And because the method decomposes the problem into two subtasks, two classifiers are used. WF stands for the weights of the classifier in semi-supervised domain learning, and WG denotes the weights of the classifier in unsupervised domain learning. Now, the slide shows the proposed method. Left figure shows overall idea of proposed mixed-up co-training. The semi-supervised domain adaptation problem is decomposed into two subtasks, semi-supervised learning and unsupervised domain adaptation problems. Shown as a gray dotted line, a classifier is trained on each subdomains, and using each classifier, model generates a pseudo-label confidence to the unlabeled dataset, which is colored in light red and blue circles, and leverages the model performance by changing information with each other. On the right is detailed information of the overall training process. We won't get too much into the training details, but to briefly explain, the algorithm first samples mini-batch from three datasets, S, T, and U, where each dataset denotes label source domain dataset S, label target domain dataset T, and unlabel target domain dataset U. Note here that label target domain dataset is very small compared to unlabeled target domain dataset U. Using the two classifier models in each domain, the samples in the unlabeled dataset U are assigned a pseudo label, and samples with high confidence are fed into the pseudo label sets, which in later will be used to update the classifier models. Once the labels are updated, Mixup algorithm is used to obtain virtual examples in each subtask domain. Mixup is a method that trains a neural network on convex combinations of pairs of examples and their labels. By doing this, Mixup regularizes the neural network to favor simple linear behavior in between training examples. As shown in the algorithm, Mixup is applied to two sets of pairs. First, on the unsupervised labels produced by classifier F and label target domain dataset T. And second, on the unsupervised labels generated by classifier G and source domain dataset S. Lastly, each classifier in the subtask domain are updated using obtained virtual examples and existing labels. For example, Classifier WF is updated using the losses calculated using label target dataset T and virtual samples obtained in the previous stage. Once two classifiers are trained, the models are returned and used as an ensemble to predict unlabeled samples in the target domain. 
The table shows Miko results on DomainNet and Office Home. As shown in the table, the proposed method outperforms all methods by a large margin on DomainNet and is on par with UODA on Office Home. Lastly, the figure shows TSNE visualization of samples in source and target domain. Blue dots represent samples in the target domain, and orange dots represent samples in the source domain. Figure A are the samples before using mixup algorithm, and B shows samples after using mixup. In figure C, samples from the source, target, and mixup domain are shown, where a clear data transition is observed along lambda. Now, the proposed method was very briefly discussed. If you want to know in detail about mix-up algorithm and training setting, I suggest reading the paper in detail. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.